All right, today I wanted to uh, get a tissue test pulled. It's a, it's a Monday and I wanted to get a um, sample into the lab because then I can get it returned within two, three, you know, two days or so and I have my results by middle of the week and I can make some adjustments to my feeding if I need to. Um, so I thought I'd just show a little demonstration on exactly how and which leaves we pull uh, in case you want to do this in the, uh, for your own tomatoes. Most people don't do it for their gardens or anything like that, but if you're growing a bunch of tomatoes and you want to make sure you're feeding them right, it can really help you guide and steer and, and tell you what, what you should or shouldn't be feeding. Um, so I have some ideas of what these plants are going to be low and high end, um, but this helps just kind of steer me and make sure that, I am, that I'm not making mistakes and I can catch things. Um, so in a nutshell, and this is kind of, this is not just on tomatoes, this really is going to be universal on most vegetables, peppers, cucumbers, watermelons, uh, tomatoes in this case. In a nutshell, we're looking for the newest mature leaf. Okay, so we want a mature, and, and by leaf, we're talking about the whole branch here, the whole leaflet. Uh, I'm not just talking about a, an individual leaf, we're talking about the entire branch. Um, leaflet they would call it at the lab uh, is, is what we want to take you don't want to take a sucker you don't want to take just a leaf or you know you want the whole branch um, and so you want the newest mature one so obviously when you're starting at the top here you have little baby ones and they get bigger 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 um, so which one's the the newest mature I mean that's a little bit debatable in in general though in in uh, most cases it's the it's about the fourth leaf down uh, where it becomes tricky is whether or not, you know, in different growth stages, this top leaf is real small. And so do you count it or don't you count it? The other way to confirm that is it's typically going to be adjacent to the flower set, the one that you want, either right below or right above that flower set. So in this case, you know, if I count this guy as one, two, three, then this guy here would be number four. Okay, and he'd be right across from that flower set. And that's what we want. And so what we'll do is I'll walk around the house and I'll get a nice sample of maybe 12 to 20 of these from the house. And so you'll just take a nice cut, clean cut there. And this whole, uh, we need about, basically the more of these you can get, the better your average and the better your uh, results will be on your tissue test. And if you just grab three from one spot, that's not very good representation of the whole house. You also want to make sure you're picking plants that are consistent. You know, I don't want to pick a really rugged looking one or, or one that's doing exceptionally well. I want to pick a consistent plant across the house. Um, third point or last point to make, uh, a lot of labs will give you bags. Waypoint here, for example, has their own bags. But if you're going to send your own bag in, it has to go in a paper bag. Uh, you don't want to put these in a plastic bag because by the time they would get to the lab in the mail, they're going to be a pile of mush or mold. So it's okay if they dry out. When they take them to the lab, they're actually gonna put them in the oven and dry them to a crisp. They'll grind them first. They'll grind them up and dry them to a powder. Uh, so it doesn't matter if they dry out. That just saves them time. Uh, but you're gonna wanna get them in a bag and then walk around and get, you know, somewhere between 10 and 20 samples um, of that, typically the fourth one down or across from the flower set. And then keep in mind, those results you get are gonna give you information on that flower set. It's not really telling you so much on the big ones at the bottom or anything like that. In fact, um, I don't really wanna pick one off, but a tomato at this size is already predetermined on its potential. I cannot change what how big that tomato is gonna to get. You know, the size of a, of a Super Bowl or a marble, or, you know, in that time, in that size area, it's already decided. So my feeding today is for these guys so keep that in mind so my tissue test is going to steer me if it says I'm low in magnesium or calcium or I that's saying that these guys if I was low on these guys down here or my blossom end rot that was yesterday that was three weeks ago um, so that's one thing to keep in mind too I'm feeding for the future here and I'm looking into the future to catch my problems of, of that set coming up so hopefully that helps you out